All right, Mr. Tony Roberts, you are going to be at the Improv this weekend. You'll be there Friday and Saturday, 7 and 10, and then Saturday, 7 o'clock and 9.45. You've been all around the world because you used to be a Marine, right? Army. Army. I apologize. You were in the Army. Same thing. Dirt is dirt. (laughs) Dirt is dirt. You serve for our country, and I thank you for that. And then also as a comedian traveling all around the United States. Now, you've been to Kansas City many times. What's yeah. the first thing that you got to do when you come to Kansas City for you? And I'm going to tell you the truth. The, the main thing to, when you go to Kansas City, first time, the main thing you want to do if you go this year is wish that the Lions beat the Kansas City Chiefs. My Lions. <laughs> <laughs> no! Yeah, Man, the first game of the season, they say, let's let the Lions play the Super Bowl champ. Who came up with that? <laughs> Duh. So I'm going I'm gonna, I'm gonna to that game. I'll be there. Okay. I so mean, y'all going to hand our asses to us, but I'm going to be there. Look, <laughs> but I the do- first thing, go ahead, Kansas go. City, the first thing you need to do is go get that barbecue. Okay. Now, I'm not to, ch- I, I, look, I'm going to ask you, but I don't want to start any Kansas City barbecue beefs. Where do you go to get your barbecue? You know what? I got a couple of people that bring it to me. And I've been to one spot. I can't remember the name of it. I don't want to get it wrong. I can't it's remember the name Jack of it. Jack, Arthur Bryant's, Oklahoma Joe's. Say, the, say it's, a, it's a Joe in there somewhere. Gates. That's what it is. Okay. I think that's it. Okay. I'm talking about, I love, I like smoked. I like grill cooked. I'm a grill person. But man, Kansas City got barbecue. We do. We do. We got some good barbecue. You're from the South. I'm from Detroit. Detroit. I'm sorry. For some reason, I thought you were from Alabama. I thought you told me that. No, I've been to Alabama a hundred times. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. Okay, so you're from- I'm from Detroit. I lived in New York for um, like six years, almost seven years. Then I moved to LA for a little while. I don't know how many years, four or five years. I met my wife in Sacramento, California, and I've been there for 15 years. Okay, so LA, yeah. you're basically an LA native now. But yeah. what do you know Kansas City shows you love when you come into town? So we're excited to see you. Yeah, no, I, I'm, everybody know. You know me. You know, if you ain't never heard of me, you know me now. Welcome out your coma, because I've been out here a minute. I don't know where you've been, but they know every time I come, I give 110%. I don't, I don't, I don't. I don't Try to cheat them out their money, they laughter. And I don't think about nothing else when I'm on stage, but at that moment, I don't think I'm famous or nothing, but I'm bringing it. I bring it every time. Yes, you do. Now, let me tell you, I went to the tour when you were with Cat Williams. I oh, yeah. It was- I died in my seat. Like, I could, I don't know what you were talking about, but I was like sweating and crying at my seat. And I, me and the ladies next to us, like we were just, we, we lost it. And so I'm telling people like, do what you need to do. Go to the bathroom before where you're depend, make sure your wigs are secured tight because you really do bring it. <laughs> hey, because you know what? And when I got on that tour, we did 52 cities and Kansas city was one of the, I told them when you go to the, the Midwest, they receive comedy a lot different than other people. A lot of people in New York, a lot of people in L.A., Atlanta, you get a lot of people in the audience that's already inspiring to be something. So they feel like they're, you know, they're famous or they're, you know, VIPs, you know. But when you go to the Midwest, we we VIPs, but we really grab comedy and, and take it in. So I knew I had to go ham on them in yeah. Kansas City. So yeah. I, I can't wait to see you at the Improv again, improvkc.com to get your tickets. Now, you said that you've been out here for a minute, which we, I mean, the people who know, know. And I saw the other day that BET Comic View was making a comeback, a reboot, whatever you want to call it. And I know that you're no stranger to the Comic View stage. How do you feel yeah. about that reboot? I feel good about being on the reboot because Kevin Hart came back and said, we're going to bring back Comic View. He, him and Mike Epps, Mike Epps is along with him. And uh, I did the Comic View in 94. In 95, they did a award show. And I won the Robert Harris Most Original Comic of the Year Award. And that was my first time ever on television. And I was bananas about that. So I did seven more Comic View. I did like eight seasons of Comic View. Yeah, but when they said we're doing the reboot, and they they called my agent, said we want Tony Roberts to do a thirty-minute piece. Oh, 
Because that was that's how black people got started coming out. And we had the avenue. That was the only avenue we had for the world to see us. Yeah. It was just nightclubs and word of mouth and flyers. And, and we really got started. Dev Comedy Jam came out, but it, it had that one little that one, two, three seasons. And then bam, Common View was 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 somewhere to watch when you didn't want it too raw. Right. Dev Jam was raw, but family, Comedy View was family oriented. Mm -hmm. So it, it was bigger than Dev Jam. I remember staying up late and sneaking and watching Comic View. And then I'd be laughing so hard. My parents were like, what you watching? Nothing, nothing. Don't worry about it. I'll go to bed. <laughs> I get so many kids. I get so many kids oh, bigger than me. Come on. I was a kid and I wasn't allowed to watch you, but I sneak and watch you. I don't say that to me. You're grown. <laughs> you make me older. <laughs> we're grown now. We got our own money. We're going to go see you this weekend at the improv. Now, um, you said that, you know, Comic View was a different way for you to be exposed to different households. What did it do for your career? It, it took me, now when I go, show, when I become a viewer, I, I was just a feature act. But when I got out there as a feature act, it was, it, it just, people were just, I, I got to a headline spot faster mm -hmm. because I did it every year and I hit them every year. So now everybody wanted to come see me. So it elevated. Right now, the, the, it came a long way in comedy have. Right now, it's all about the internet. Yeah. So the internet guys got the, you know, a couple of million followers, right? But we have fans. Followers are different. Followers just want to be there. They don't care if you're that funny or not. You know, fans, fans don't have time for that. They're engaged. Fans are older. They work, they bought these tickets. You better get down. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. So yeah. So now I got followers and fans. Very good. But Comic View, Comic View is the reason a lot of comics right here today just headlining it, made their name off Comic View. Now, the Comic View that we know from back then, like you like what you said, the comedy world was completely different. Now, when they're rebooting this, what's different with this new version of Comic View? Like, are those girls still there dancing? Is there? You know, when they just taped the show. They didn't tape the dancers. They might have some girls dancing, but they ain't doing that. Okay, because I was like, it takes it like a regular. It takes it like a regular show, but I'm telling you, it was different. Only thing that's really different. Some of the comics out there, I can't say they're more seasoned. When we had the original Comic View, it was a lot of talented comics. Talented. I, I mean, I look at myself as one of them, but there's a lot of comics that made me laugh, man. Some really, uh, there's some some real original, real hungry comics. You know, today's comics, we cool. You know, they cool. They do their thing. But um, that's what they do. They, they're doing a trial run, actually. Mm -hmm. So this is the this is like the pilot. So they shot four. They shot four 30 minute specials. Then they got the opener acts that come up. So they're going to try that out and see if that if, they, if it opens up the door again, they're going to funnel it with a bunch of comics that need to be seen. But the only difference between now and back then is the camera quality. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. We look great. We look beautiful now. <laughs> yes, high definition, 4K. <laughs> you got one zip. You gonna see it? Okay. You got crack too. You gonna? See well, then I guess I will have to share my skincare. I mean, your skin looks good now, but I mean, if you would really like it at the end, I guess. Yeah, man. My mom and my dad got. It come from my family, but I know I'm too. I'm way older than you, so this is this is remarkable. This is. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay. So how do you, cause like you're an OG comedian. How do you feel about using social media? Do you do it yourself? Do you have like a little bit of help? Do you like it? Well, all, all, all old school comedians are uh, lazy when it comes to social media. Cause we, we used to flyers and word of mouth. So then we got started getting, uh, when MySpace came out, we started interacting with people and everything. And then uh, FaceTime and, 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 uh, and, and then all these other channels, it's just, it's just a lot of internet people got their way because they weren't, they weren't, they weren't comedians. So they weren't busy going out there on the road. So they're busy at the house doing all kinds of antics and they get a lot of followers. And then, you know, so the old school comics, we're not, we don't oppose of it, but we just, we're not as on it like the young people. It's right. just not our, our way. So I have a couple of people in my camp that they, they keep up with me. You know, they put everything out. I'm doing something. They put it out. You have four kids, don't you? I got, yeah, at home, yeah. 
Okay, why do you put them to work? Those are the yeah, best they, ones. You know what? I got two daughters. I got a daughter and a son that's real savvy with that. So right now, they over they take over my TikTok and my Instagram, and they're going to throw stuff. Even when somebody in my camp, and I can't get to them, I go right home and go, hey, what about this? They said, Dad, what about this? I seen you doing this. I said, put it out. Do it. Run. Sit, do it. Sit, do all that. All that you know. Do it. That's what you yeah. And yeah, I, pay, yeah. I pay them a little bit. Okay, just a little but bit. Then, but then they get in trouble. I can't fire them. <laughs> right. I said, you grounded. But I still need you to do this TikTok. Exactly. That is too hard. You work indoors. You know, yeah. So it's hard. My my kids, and my kids don't, they don't look at me as a, like a celebrity or something. They just know, they when they tell their friends, oh, my dad does this. They say, really? And blah, blah, blah. But when I'm at home, they go, it's just dad. You know, or, or they're on the road with me somewhere. They don't look at me like that. <laughs> you know, I wish they would until so they pay attention to start doing what I say. But it ain't, it ain't working. It's coming. They will appreciate it one day. Now, yeah, when I kick them out, when I kick them out. Now, I'm the Excuse me, celebrity, prince, king of comedy. Can we come home? <laughs> oh no. That's too funny. Now, the other day, Steph Curry, he dropped, like, I don't know what it is, a single, a mixtape. And I know you got bars. Oh. How do you feel about Steph Curry, like what he's working with? He Can, can he step toe to toe with you? No, no way. He knows it. He, and he's, a, he's a friend of mine. Oh, okay. When I met him. I didn't know who he was. I met him. He got drafted with the Warriors. I was doing this guest, guest comedy show. We needed volunteers on stage. And he was in the front row with two other guys. I said, what's up, big man? Come on up here, up here. He stood up like this high. I said, dude, you should be playing ball. And then somebody said, that's Steph Curry. He just got drafted. I'm like, thank you. Because <laughs> I don't watch basketball like that. So he, we became, I started doing uh, golf tournaments with him. Mm-hmm. You know, and then we became friends. Okay. Yeah, so I know y'all seen his little bars. We can't mess with booty mouth. You need an Altoy IV, a Listerine shake, a Febreze mouthpiece, or a right guard cake. Throw cologne on your throat, put a jacket on your tongue, put your teeth in the cleaners. You got booty mouth, son. Ooh. Oh. Oh. The video is out. Oh, the video is out. On what platforms mm-hmm. can we? Instagram and Facebook. Instagram and Facebook. I'm I'm getting ready to throw it on Twitter now. Okay, so have you worked on, well, it's not Twitter anymore. Remember, it's X. I mean, it's, yeah, yeah. Whatever Elon Musk wants it to do, we'll just- It's going on TikTok. TikTok. Some more Twitter is X. X. Now, um, if Booty Mouth had a viral dance to go with it, what would it be? Oh, you got booty mouth, son. <laughs> booty mouth. Okay, we'll we'll work on the moves a little bit. Yes, I got booty. I got about three or four videos out. I'm still making some more videos. Okay, so yeah, I got, got songs. I got some songs. Got stomach gets a new pretty, but it's really the other one. It ain't. I gotta say pretty because keep it clean. Stomach gets the new pretty. Okay. <laughs> it rhymes with pretty. Okay, and then what's the other one? Pretty stomach, the new pretty. I don't care if you're 50, the stomach gets the new pretty. Okay, got got some other. I got a lot of I got stuff coming out, man. Booty mouth, stomach is the new pretty. What's revamping? You need your ass beat. Y'all come on, check it out. Check out the new lyrics when you need your ass beat. Okay, now who's the okay? When you think of one person that needs their ass beat that's like in the trending topics going on right now. What's that one person? Anybody who wears dress shoes or white socks, you need your ass beat. Dress shoes or white socks. <laughs> okay. They need to step their game up. <laughs> you know, right now, I just think the whole people, that, that all the producers of the Kardashians need their ass beat. This is a, this is, this is a damn shame. I, I ended up watching one episode recently, man. It is, it's stupid. It is. It's gotten a little bit out of hand. At first, it was fun watching the family, and now it's just like, look at how rich we are. I know. One thing like people like to do, people will go all day and stare at anybody with money and see what they do, how they live. Right. If you're rich, somebody going to watch you. It can be boring, but they're going to watch it. But I'm uh, look, I, I, I'm one of those people that tune in. I've seen every single episode of The Cardiac. I know you did. I know Maybe you did. it's because I have a boring life. I don't know what it is. I'm addicted. The dumbest person in the whole show that's ever been since the show been on is the brother. And he's not even on anymore. He's not even on no more. He's an idiot. But what he need to do is write four books about the whole family. He does. Yeah. More money, more money. Right. <laughs> right. And, 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 and get the grit, get the dirt out. 
I agree. If the cameras don't show, that boy, they won't talk to him ever again. But they, so they, they feed him money to keep him comfortable. But no, nah, he's a, he's a, he's the worst. I agree. It's a, it's look what they did to their daddy. He a woman now. Look what they did to people. This is what they do to people. It's the Kardashian curse that they have with the men. I said, the man, Lance Woods talk about that in his set. Don't go in that house. Yeah, but you Hope know. do it this week. He said, don't go. He named everybody in the house and they name how they came out. It is bananas where he do it. People keep on trying their luck, but hey, that if they want to do it, go ahead. Do what you want to do. <laughs> Tony, what else can we look forward to you in 2023? I almost said 2024, but the year is halfway over. But what else do you have to cooking up that we can look forward to? I'm shooting two 30 minute specials back to back. Oh, okay. Yeah, one is called Faith Family Funny. It's all about my family in Detroit, my family here in Sacramento, and every all that family, everybody, a lot of them in detail. Just I'm going to cousins, cousins, father, mama, grandmama, wife, kids. It's called Faith Family Funny. And the other one is called I Swear for God. Everything that get on my nerve is you just close to getting it. Because I swear for God, if you don't get out of my way. My, and my family say that all the time when we was young. They say, man, I swear for God. That's going to be my next, my, my, I got to get the frustration out. Okay. Well, I mean, yeah, I'm glad that you're channeling it to go somewhere positive. Yeah. So I'm about to shoot those in, immediately. Next year, will that drop or like end of this year? Oh yeah, no, it's gonna drop. One's gonna drop this winter. The other one gonna be the beginning, of the beginning of the year. Okay. Well, we look. Yeah. So look out for that. We will look out for that. We look forward yeah. to. We look forward to this weekend with you at the Kansas City Improv, ImprovKC.com to get your tickets. Anything else you want to let us know? I let your boy. Holla, holla, holla. We're taking everybody. Ladies, come on out. If you're handsome, I don't care. Come on out. You look good to somebody. <laughs> if you got a if you got an aunt in the hospital bed, they got a ramp, bring her. If your kid's too small and you ain't got no babysitter, leave him in the car. Everybody doing it. <laughs> That's how you grew up. That's how you grew up. <laughs> it's gonna be a hot weekend. They did used to leave us in the cars back in the day. Yeah, look, Hennessy and not going, they gonna kill nobody. Right. Make it out to that comedy show. You deserve to laugh. That's right. We all need a little bit of laughter. So get your tickets, improvkc.com. Anything else, Tony? I love y'all, KC. I'm on my way. That's all I got to say. All right. We look forward to you, Tony Roberts. Get your tickets, improvkc.com. Thank Shout you. Shout out to Amanda, KC's general manager. Let me tell you, man, that girl, I go to clubs around the country. Just one of the best managers in the country. She gets it done. So when you go in there, when you go in there this week and say, can, is Amanda here? Can you tell her we say hi? Oh, she's That's gonna get mad. Yeah. Amanda is too busy to do a meet and greet. Yeah, she ain't doing a meet and greet. She ain't, she ain't no people person like that. But she she do stuff for other people. But she ain't gonna get it. <laughs> That's right. But we love Amanda. All right, Tony. Good to see you. I'll see you this weekend. All right. Thank you, babe.